Okay, we'll continue to working on this image. Next, I want to create another um, layer. Go ahead, I can fill with a gray scale. Okay, and we'll go switch to soft light as well. Uh, by the way, if you want, you can have a shortcut. You just control backspace, so it's fill up with 50% gray instead of going from the top. Uh, if you know shortcuts, use them because uh, for the purpose of tutorials, I'm kind of trying to use it, some menus and showing um, how to access. So right here, we're going next. Um, let's apply some of the global. Same, we'll use the same brush, only just create a large size. We'll go to one again, darker. And right here, just overall, I want to add shadows. Maybe to leave it to add to the cheeks. Just apply. Global. Again, we can kind of preview. A little bit darker. Okay, also right in this area. So let's go come a little closer. And right this areas we maybe want to highlight or reduce to just depend what you're going after. Many times I add shadows first and uh, going after with the highlights and actually remove back those, but it's give me a good perception how it's going so example right now I can go with highlights and just you know maybe even reduce here where I added so give me a little bit more flexibility okay let's increase and add highlights on the cheek okay as well a little bit right here our lights going line and normal Okay, so right here we're done, kind of remove it, let's preview, and you can see we increase the light's direction, so instead some bouncing lights on the side, kind of more toned down, create a little bit more dimension in this case. Okay, I think with this we're kind of done with shadowing and other stuff, and next I want to work on the eyes slightly right here work on the eyes and some hair so for the eyes we're going to create your adjustment layer and we're going to um, probably just curves first so i want to increase contrast and i'm just watching eyes i don't worry about other stuff so it's done we'll go control i to fill up inverse everything with black we're going to the our eyes closer right here let's take our brush X so it's set to white smaller we have it opacity let's say to 20 and I'm just start painting over eyes so this is will bring kind of masking okay we can go click you can see it's become a little bit nicer stronger look on that Okay, same right here. Okay, next I want to bring a little bit more color to this. So we'll go to vibrance and we need to connect this to layer. So press hold down alt key and move your mouse till you see this icon appear. Click so now it's linked to one when we apply via vibrance it's we just will go to the okay we can also look on saturations maybe just slightly increasing okay next what I want to do it is apply to the um, hair so right here we can again we can look on the eyes just look a little bit more not interesting um, the same we we'll go create curve and I want to add extra highlights so we'll go pop up all the way wide and maybe a little bit contrast down here 
same control I to inverse and we'll take a brush increase in size and actually I want to set this to 10 opacity 10 percent and we'll just start painting right here with the highlights so let's give it kind of more interesting highlight effect to our um, hair so we'll just go right here with the bright areas okay let's add some highlights okay we'll can kind of preview some contrast in these areas okay again it's all small torch so apply it and if we want we can go and just yeah just overall highlights you can see we can go very crazy with this okay i think we kind of done next what i want to do it is apply smoothing to the skin and here's kind of things what i find out for the 50s kind of we not need almost airbrush so for that i press ctrl shift alt e on the pc or options alt whatever on a mac so you can merge all these layers below in one layer this one it will be black mask and let's come closer for example right here forehead and we'll go filter noise and we're going to use um dust and scratches so you, you see how it overlay so right here in a pixel and you'd find a good combination so it's kind of smooth but i want to remove some of this Effect, so we'll go away right here next after filter apply I want to have it mask and we'll need it control I to inverse this mask so this is just the normal mode and we'll just start overlay again right here it's when used Vicom it's kind of very nice because you can start literally painting over the effect so I'm going zoom in Okay, let's say two and you can see how we start slowly painting in and I want to be very careful with this because I'm going over but I don't want to create too much and again I don't touch hair and you can notice right here I'm just painting and again I'll go over and over okay, and if you have the Vicom it's much much easier to do this but right area you can see how it's become smaller so I still want to have it somewhat skin texture okay don't touch eyebrows but at the same time I want to start smoothing some of these areas okay I'm going to pause tutorial right now and I'll come back after um, I'm done with kind of smoothing so we can see if you can even right now you can already see the right here where it was smooth before and after so it's almost up like kind of like airbrushing effect so let me go, go ahead pause finish putting over in some way intensity less or more with this and we'll come back in a second Okay, so right here I'm finished putting over and I also touch a little bit of background so you can look on a mask this is overall always was kind of left alone and brushing so you can apply otherwise so don't touch eyes remove somewhere some hair was touching in areas so it's give it a little bit smoother effect kind of dreamy almost but again this is a before and after okay so I'm like right here I want to add a dreamy but still have it very strong on the eyes lips and these highlights of the hair and eyebrows this is why I want to keep a sharpness to that 
Okay, I also notice I still have a little bit right here, one maybe darken. So we'll go create new layer. Again, I'm going to yeah, let's fill it with a shift backspace. We'll fill up with 50% gray. Setting to um, soft light. Okay, I'll take a brush, make it bigger. Oops, actually. 20% probably will work and again I'm just going right here darker okay just a little bit more highlights bring right here okay maybe a okay so we can see Kind of more constraint on our eyes and the face. Okay, next we're going to do it is apply with filter forage. And this application I'm using a lot and um, I'll show in a second. To do this, we actually needed combined layers. So this is what we applied. We've going filter, filter forage. Uh, all filters is free for filter forage, but you need to buy application. And if you think you will build your filters, for example, this filter I built by myself. Um, of course, if you want to go in details, you can actually go and see how the filter applied and it used by the channels. Um, but we're going to use this one and I'm just going through some presets. And I think this kind of nice preset will go in the settings. Let me see, yeah, black point. And we can bring a little bit more blue as well kind of we can see the options we can have it very nice and what it does it's apply overall tone to our image we don't necessarily need to use it so when we're done we'll, let's go click apply okay and um, you notice it's a little bit stronger than I wanted so we can go ahead and opacity and can just slightly going to the probably run right this area so we have it nice this overall tone give it as 50s um, next I want to add vignetting and doing this we'll just go ahead create the curves takes curves all the way to the down select the frame okay black fill up okay and feathering maybe around here let's switch this to the soft light so you can see right here we have a little bit been getting added I like this way because you can always if you don't like dark you can go to white vignetting or um, change shape and other things so it's much easier to control that way and uh, here we have it our image again um, let me go ahead group all of them and that we have it before and after so you can see we applied effect of the kind of as what I was going 50s kind of look some would look like almost airbrush it too much in some areas but I still want to have it all this great details and you can see we still preserve nice sharp eyes um, you could if you wanted even more you could go ahead and actually create extra sharpness and we'll just do sharpness inside the details so like overlay we'll go to vivid light I think and it's control I and we can go to surface blur right here probably 99 or well maybe you know, let's say 7 and 7 so a little bit smaller Okay, in this case we have a little bit even more details now we have it on a skin if it was a little bit too airbrush it but I like how it's applied so we can you can see just add slightly details to the skin inside so you think if it was a little bit too airbrush it and of course for the outside we can just go with the classic um, high pass sharpening 
probably one pixel will work well. So let's sharpen a little bit more outside. Like if we look on a hair, right here you can see it's kind of sharp on the edges. Maybe a little bit too much. Let's drop down to about 40. Okay. So right here we have our image with sharp details, airbrush its skin, tone and color look like theaties. And uh, if you like these tutorials and want to see more, please be sure to visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.